Thank you very much. And good morning. Uh, good morning, all. As Kathleen already said, uh, I'll be presenting uh, the work that we have been doing in, in Europe uh, around uh, our repository uh, network. Uh, I'll start to, to give a little bit of a context that uh, will certainly resonate with many things that you have already heard and also from, from, uh, from Martha. Uh, I, I think there is, uh, and uh, building on uh, the comment from, from Martha, I think more than a moment, I think there is a, an opportunity to, to build a momentum. I think, and, but for me, it's not granted that this will happen. We need to, to be strategic and we need to really have our priorities right to use this opportunity because I think there is a, a growing uh, recognition of the shortcomings uh, of the current system, of the limitations of commercial and fee-based models and the need to invest in not-for-profit and community or institutional driven infrastructures and services. On the other hand, uh, in Europe, and I think elsewhere, but in Europe, there is now a big momentum around it. And I think this, this is already a momentum around the re uh, reforming research assessment with the coalition for the advancement of uh, research assessment. And that reform needs uh, that all research contributions, all research outputs, not, ju not just journal articles, can uh, uh, should be accessible, managed, accountable, uh, uh, and and that's again an, a big opportunity for for repositories. So again, I think there is an, a, 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 a real opportunity for for a, a, a renewed and reinforced uh, a role of of repositories. Uh, in the political landscape, uh, several countries. I'm just this is are just examples. Uh, France, that is already on the second. Uh, uh, National Open Science Plan for 2021 to 2024. Ireland, for example, that also has approved at the end on the, at the end of uh, 2022 the, the the their National Action Plan for uh, 22, 23, uh, and 2030. And the Spanish colleagues, uh, by the way, I want to congratulate uh, the Spanish colleagues. I see Laura there, uh, so. Uh, congratulations for very recently having approved a national strategy for, for open science. And in all these three documents, the question of infrastructures and, and investing in open infrastructures and community governance and non-commercial models are very strong. So again, we have an opportunity here. And we could bring together uh, uh, several organizations uh, the, uh, on the political level, I, I was uh, forgetting, uh, this is not uh, uh, news yet because the meeting will be next week. Next week, the Council of Ministers of uh, uh, of the European Union will uh, produce uh, 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 conclusions on high quality, transparent, open, trustworthy, and equitable scholarly publishing. There are many points. I think the document, as it stands now, this is just a draft because the minister will be approved. But I think it's very, very close to the to the final version uh, that will be approved next week. But uh, it is uh, uh, very, uh, in several points, there are there is this uh, clear message of the need to invest in new models, in, in, uh, in, in uh, uh, not based on, on publication fees, and the need to, to, to secure infrastructures that are community uh, governed. So as I, as I was saying, uh, uh, building also on this momentum and building on several organizations that are that have been working on on this. For instance, I'm showing you this is a slide from the strategic plan for leaders in in Europe on the area of open uh, of open science. It's one of the three priorities for Liber for the current uh, uh, strategic plan, and uh, the area of infrastructures uh, is also uh, 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 mentioned there. Uh, Spark Europe, of course, uh, that also on their on the on their strategic goals uh, uh, have a, a, a clear reference to 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 the need to to promote diversity in, in publishing, and and uh, uh, and also to to sustain open infrastructures and uh, and the service ec ecosystem, and 
of course, Open Air, the organization that I'm also kind of representing here, uh, we have just uh, defined the, our five strategic priorities, and uh, uh, all of them, I think, are connected to, with this, but especially uh, the the first one, the, 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 the building infrastructure for open scholarly communication and the and the fourth one innovation and re in research communication dissemination resonates a lot with uh, with this uh, taking or uh, trying to taking this opportunity to reinforce the role of of repository and of course the vision of core that has been been built uh, on uh, for several years this uh, this vision of a global knowledge uh, commons uh, where repositories are the foundation for this uh, globally uh, network infrastructure that is uh, uh, that is research centric that is open and it is it, that is collectively managed by by the by the scholarly community but uh, to fulfill this vision uh, we need and I, I take also the point, but I already have made my slides uh, about the word modernizing. So maybe we shouldn't drop the word modernizing. Fortunately, in, uh, on our European initiative, we are not talking about modernizing. We are talking about enhancing. So, uh, but we might uh, 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 use another another word. So, for for to to fulfill this opportunity, to take this opportunity, we really need. To 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 secure that we have a a, a, a well functioning, well sustained infrastructure, and so uh, in January, uh, Core, uh, Lever, Spark Europe, and Open Air uh, have uh, 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 committed to work together to to define a joint uh, to develop a joint strategy for for strengthening the, the, the European repository network, and and the objective is to to reinforce and enhance the. Uh, uh, and the ne a network of repositories that can provide, and again, this is very important, human and machine access to the wide range, to the all the valuable research outputs, again, much more than the traditional uh, uh, article or, or conference paper. So all the uh, types of research outputs and, and making that full corpus of research available for analysis, uh, text and data main, mining, uh, et cetera. And uh, the first step that we took was to launch a survey in uh, February that uh, was run from February to, to, to March. And what I'm now presenting on the next five or, or minutes or so are some of the results of this survey that we are still uh, finishing uh, working on. We got more than 400 uh, re uh, replies, but uh, uh, after there are some duplications and some incomplete replies, etc., we end up having uh, uh, almost 400 replies. I think it's already, it's anyway a very good sample of the of the European uh, landscape. Uh, and as you can see, we cover basically all European. We have replies from basically all European uh, countries. Uh, uh, so it, that was good. Uh, we asked uh, repositories if they were, and this is also related with the international repository directory uh, discussion. We asked them. Uh, if they are registered in one directory, for instance, in Open Door, uh, there were 317, but uh, there are several others in, in other uh, uh, repository uh, directories. Uh, one other uh, aspect is that uh, 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 currently uh, about uh, 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 the majority of repositories are hosted uh, locally but there is a, a significant number of repositories that are uh, uh, hosted by by external providers most of them non-commercial but there are already already also some uh, commercial providers hosting uh, uh, repositories we will need to 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 uh, there are a strong variation between countries so there are, if we look into uh, and that's the the work that we are trying to, to do now to don't just analyze the, the the global numbers but see because it's very different the situation in portugal or in france and the, the uk so and we'll try to 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 understand better that regarding the the software platforms uh, more than 40% are using uh, this space uh, but and uh, uh, some of these results are, are, for me at least, were kind of uh, surprising. They have already also uh, 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 more than 10% using ePrints uh, or Fedora, Islandora, and then a, a range of uh, other repository networks. And if we look at this space, because it is the, the most used uh, uh, repository platform in Europe, uh, 
we have uh, 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 already a significant number of uh, uh, repositories using version six, and uh, of course, a very small number already using version set, seven because it's new. But we already also have a, a, a big number of uh, of uh, people uh, uh, using version five, and uh, this is not here on the graph. People say that they don't know the version that they are using, so uh, mostly, it, it, certainly, it will be a very old version of 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 this paper. What was I was a little bit surprised is, uh, and you will see uh, also. Uh, to for with a, um, if we correlate the, this with another question, is when was the the when was the, the the repository for the last time updated, and you can see that the majority of the replies that we got, uh, the repositories were updated on the last three years. So if we uh, add the, the the ones that have been uh, uh, updated in 2020 20, uh, to 2022, we have uh, uh, already. Uh, 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 more than 200 uh, repositories from the 394 uh, that have uh, replied. And when we ask, when are you planning to update your repository platform? Again, uh, uh, almost half say that they are they are planning to, to upgrade their repository platform this year. And this is also uh, uh, kind of surprising, but there, there are many others that say that, that they don't have uh, plans to, to uh, yet to, to upgrade their repository. We ask about compliance with open air guidelines, and also here we can see that uh, uh, there are, uh, the majority of uh, European repositories are compliant with some uh, version of the open air guidelines, but the majority of them are uh, compliant with older version of the open air guidelines, or not with the current version of the open air guidelines. Uh, regarding content, I think this is no big surprise here. So the majority of of content are. are this is a dissertation, conference uh, uh, articles, and, and uh, conference proceedings, but there are then also a, a very small number of uh, preprints and, uh, and research data. And, uh, and uh, the other, there'll be a, a big variety of, of things here. Uh, one other aspect that really needs a, a national analysis is uh, when we ask that if uh, uh, the, the repositories are part of a national network. And as you can see, it's almost half half. Half say yes, half say no. And again, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, the, all the, 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 the Portuguese repositories that have reply will, will reply that, that yes, they are part of a national uh, repository network. From other countries, they'll, they'll be uh, probably, they'll be very, very different. And this is again, what we are working uh, on now. Uh, we also ask about uh, certification. So the majority of repositories uh, uh, do not uh, 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 ever undergone any type of uh, certification, and the ones that have done are uh, using uh, Core Trust Seal and also Dini, uh, and uh, in the, uh, even others, but uh, the, the two more significant uh, is Core Trust Seal and, and Dini. And uh, uh, regarding the, the founding, of course, uh, uh, the majority of them are, f are institutionally founded with. Uh, with uh, several other uh, sources of funding on the on the repository, and the two probably the two more interesting, uh, the two final questions that are uh, the most interesting are what uh, the, uh, respondents consider the the main challenges for that for the the the, the repository, and if you if you uh, look at it again, that's why I it is uh, kind of. Um, uh, surprising the the the, the upgrading and the uh, replies before because the main challenge that was identified was exactly upgrading to new versions and then the second one was employing skilled staff and uh, and uh, and the third one is ongoing technical operations so things like that we might th think of uh, 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 underfunding, lack of visibility, uh, uh, and the content recruitment. Of course, they still have. Uh, we still. There are still challenges, but they are not uh, 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 as big as as the one that are really related to the question of the infrastructure. So, it, for me at least, it was a little bit uh, uh, also a, a surprise. Uh, and then, we've, when we ask about what type of activities would be the most helpful to address uh, those issues, uh, the the uh, here, the the most uh, uh, important, uh, the most important uh, ones is uh, uh, was advocacy 
uh, and and com community of practice for for technical support and greater national or regional uh, coordination of repositories. Again, this will have uh, strong national variations, and we we will need to to take those into account. Just to conclude, we are uh, uh, now we are a little bit delayed to our initial plan, uh, but uh, we. Uh, we are uh, on the working to complete the survey analysis and and uh, uh, write the report, and we hope to finish at the end of May or half, half, first half of June. We'll publish the the, the 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 report with some recommendations for for action. Try to develop an, an action plan and try to engage with the community to discuss this action plan, and then we'll try to to start working on this action plan on the second half of the year. Of course, the, the action plan is not defined yet, but I think probably we will uh, have mainly three areas of action. One is advocacy. Again, uh, there is we need to, to really uh, uh, make the case for the importance of repository to address the challenges that we have, that uh, 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 everyone is coming to agree that they exist on the scholarly communication system. We need to pro to identify solutions to facilitate uh, building and sustaining uh, 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 the, the, infra the technical infrastructures uh, to, to maintain repositories. And finally, we need to, to, to uh, 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 strengthen the community of practice, so uh, build capacity around the repositories uh, and the repository managers in, in Europe. Thank you very much.